Hey guys, we're back by the TV. I'm Bizer. And I'm Alistair. And we're here for Avatar The Last Airbender episode 17. Book 2. <laughs> okay, you get the next few episodes up on Patreon. Last episode. <laughs> it was an APA special. An APA special. It was a sad journey. It wasn't an episode, it was a special. It was a journey. <laughs> just got real. And um, it was a very <laughs> sad journey because so we saw Appa, him. He got tortured. He got um, psychologically fucked PTSD, through, that, PTSD. through that torture. He met Suki. Which he is met great. Guru Patik. He met um, the head of the Daily. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> he met Long Feng. I think that's his name. And then that that that, that encounter did not go well. He locked him up. But that's how that basically the story told us how did. Appa spent his days and spent his days and how we reached to Bas how we reached Bas and say eventually. So yeah. that's pretty much it. We're jumping in episode seventeen. Let's go. Here we go. Pretty much died. Yeah, I see. He pretty much died. So I roll like this is freedom. Yeah. You did the right thing, nephew. Nephew. Leave it behind. The end of the blue spirit. Oh man, I actually like the blue spirit like too. Oh, oh that was beautiful, man. That, that was a oh beautiful god. episode. I fucking love that. Holy shit, that's exactly what oh I Oh my god. Oh. That was greatness right there. Avatar greatness. Alright. <laughs> Holy shit, that was amazing. Oh my god, dude. I'm so high off that episode right now. This is Avatar greatness right here. Oh my god. Episode 17 was hype as fuck. And then so much, like so many storylines were happening at the same time, and mm. then, and I love how like obviously at the end everything just like connects, and I just I, I love when that happens, you know. There's not one time where like I'm like oh what why is this happening? I I just I, I just fucking love it, you know. Also, the best thing that, that ever happened to me in my life was Appa coming back. Man, Appa is making yeah. that entrance, fucking shit up. Gangsta Appa comes back, <laughs> takes out these daily like they're fucking scrubs. But man, yo, like, yo, this episode was hype. It was really good. It I, was really I, good. I, I, so I, many things. I love, I love Zuko IRO scenes. I, I think I'm just a fanboy at this point. I, 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 uh, me and you I can that. never get over that. Like, I just, I, I enjoy the shit out of that. Like, when you see them both together, you're like, yes. and their interactions, I fucking love them, man. Especially when Iroh's preaching, man. I'm like, shit, just keep talking, man. Um, uh, like, uh, Jet, man, shit. So is Jet dead? I think he's dead, I think man. Died, no, no, I think he died. Jet, Jet died. I mean, because uh, Toph, like, apparently she's a lie detector, and it's like, he's lying. I'm like, I, I kind of feel bad for Jet because, like, I know I was hating on him a lot last couple of episodes. Oh, we were. You know, like, I, like, I understood, like, his past and shit, but man, like, Jet was like, like he's not a bad person. He, he's, a, he's a good guy, but at the end of the day, it's just, he's too extreme. Yeah. You know, it's too extreme. And, and, That's and how it is, man. When you get too extreme, it can backfire and, and, one way or another. Sure, but at the same time, like, like everything that happened to him in his past, like, literally, the fucking people burnt his village, killed his parents, burnt his parents. That's, that, that's what was needed for him to get out of the hypnotism. Well, no, yeah, no, that's, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking about more of, like, why he's so extreme. It's because, like, he, his past was... The, the circumstances that happened to him and his child when he was eight years old were extreme, you know. Hence the the product, which is soup, which is um jet extremism, <laughs> you know. But like man, like man, yo jet, damn it, man. Like I really, I I felt that is, I felt bad for Katara because she did not trust him at all. And like the way, I like I like when this showed her blush. That means like. Oh shit! This cute guy. <laughs> God damn it! Dad betrayed me. You know. So like, like. You know how a girl reacts like this, but like especially with previous relationships, sometimes it doesn't work out. But like, mm -hmm. they, they they're like overly protective of everything, especially surrounding this guy. But like, so the, uh, obviously, you know, Katara, was, she was feeling that. I think that's what they're trying to tell us. That's why she went overboard. Even Top called her out. She's like, was he was he your boyfriend? Boyfriend, yeah. He's like, you're lying. <laughs> okay, so, so the episode started out with, with Zuko knowing Aang is in Basin State, which changed oh. the whole uh, complete. Com Complexion of the of the episode. I I don't know, but well, that that changed like everything for them too. For, yeah, no, no, Zuko so, and Iro. Um, that changed the complexion of this episode when Zuko found out. Hey, Ang is fucking here, right? Mm. Um, but that that it wasn't just that. It was it was more of like, oh, well, first of all, congratulations, Iro, on getting your your promotion because the dude got a new shop, man. 
Like, respect the hustle, bro. <laughs> gotta respect. When you get a better contract, man, you gotta take that shit. Sorry, the guy who initially hired him, but I don't know. That, that's how the business goes. I thought he was gonna be like, no, I should help this guy. <laughs> I was like, no, fuck this. Fuck my <laughs> <laughs> it's my dream, man. <laughs> So, um, congratulations, Ira, on your new job. Mm. Uh, you know, he's like, I love the humor. He's like, executive assistant manager? <laughs> he's like, why are you assistant? <laughs> the guy's getting a new shop, but I loved it. Um, but, um, uh, like, when Zuko found out and he, and he told Iro, Iro was just thinking of you know, what a tea shop name. Zuko's like, uh, the uh, avatar's here, and he's fine. his bison's not here. So, and then Iro's just like, okay, so, like, what, what, what do you want? What so, do you want? Like, what, what? Like, so what? the outside's not there, what are you going to do with the bison? Are you going to kill it? Are like, gonna, no, no, it's like, it's like, it's, it's not even that. It's like, so what? What are you going to do with exactly. it? Like, you're living very happy. Look at the life we're living right now, Zuko. Let's look at this shit. There's peace, prosperity. Why do you want to give this up? Like, well, like, like well, for your destiny? It's, like, it's kind of unfinished business for him. It's not, it's more like, like it's more it's somewhat it's, closure, not but not closure, you know. It is closure. It is closure. He wants closure for for everything he's been through, you know. But like Ira, Ira's like you don't need that shit. Sometimes like you just you know like sometimes like like make your own destiny. He's like he's like you're look, like make your own destiny. You don't need this shit. It's like so you initially told him he's like yo like this is like this destiny apparently that you put upon yourself is. It's put on. It's put on him by other people, yeah. his dad and shitty people. Yeah. I was trying to explain to him, I was like, "Listen, man, you don't need this kind of shit, right?" But like Zuko, obviously, at first he's like, "You didn't really listen." So um, and then and then obviously Zuko just went off on his own. He he, he went fucked up the Daily guy. Yep. I think got answers from him. Went to Lake uh, Lau guy, and um, and then and then that was that. But like we had uh we had and we had the inner Daily internal meeting where they're like. Oh, the avatar is like uh, disrupting the balance, and Jody didn't do a good job. And we saw Jody. I felt bad for her. Like, the, like I, I, we know we, we were sh- we were making fun of them for being creepy and shit. But like, it's Yo, but Aang had enough of that shit. Well, like, I don't know. I'm not like, yeah, sure. Aang like Aang was just fucking went all out on her. But at the same time, you don't blame Jody. Like, they're just they're good people that are just hit them. No, I was hitting on her. I was hitting on her because I thought she was part of the system. I don't know. She was hypnotized. Oh yeah, no, no, we, like we, me too. Like I thought she was creepy and stuff, but like at the same time, like they made her creepy, you know. Yeah. And then, and then it's because, and then she's like, oh, Jody, like he, he, he fucking just hypnotized her and says anything. Like she was, she's like, I don't like the way I feel. And she's showing emotions, crying, mm. and then he just fucking says some words and hypnotizes her again. You know, it's just it's like the scumbag, control the freak, fuck you, um, <laughs> yeah. thing. Um, and so he's just like, oh, they're gonna disrupt the balance, so because they're sending in posters and shit. We, we don't, we can't let the people know and shit. No, there's no such thing as a utopia. There can yeah. never be a utopia. No, no. As long as humans are there, probably not. But yeah. uh, well, people try. But like, that was that. So the Daily were on their case. They're like, you're finding Appa. We gotta do something about you. And then, um, and then, and then Aang was like, fuck it, we're gonna do whatever it takes to find Alpha ourselves. Like, I thought they were gonna, like, try to figure shit out, but I'm surprised they started out with just hanging out posters. And, and, and you know, you, you know. start small, it works out. And Sokka was trying to draw it. Like, hey, what about my shit? We're sticking with professional pictures. <laughs> uh, but, and then we, and then, we, and then, and then Jet made an appearance, and obviously Katara's overreaction. <laughs> so that is brainwashed. I'm surprised, like, when they tried to jog his memory, mm-hmm. is it, like, I, you need key words. Oh yeah, like for him to kind of snap out of it. Well, well, it's like it's like like ten years of fucking hatred of, of Fire Nation in your heart, that ambition that drives you every day, compared to like uh, compared to like a night's hip, hip, hypnotizing session, you know, like obviously like th- that shit, that that memories of the Fire Nation attack, that that thing that dro- drove drove him, him his whole life. Well, true, it's embedded in it. It drove him like. To what he is today, you know. Mm-hmm. So obviously, that's gonna hold more of an effect on him compared to like a, a night's uh, hypnotization session or whatever the fuck. I don't know what I'm calling it, but you know, so like uh, that, that makes sense. But man, like uh, Katara overreacted. It was hilarious to see. She obviously, you know, like you know, it's she, like when you see your ex. Like, oh, you know, yeah. compared to last time. I'm well, sure. yeah, she's she, unskilled she, before, but like. No, 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 like, no, 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 like, it was just like, she, she, she did that for a reason, okay, like, she, 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 she's like, she has issues with him, she, she didn't like, she's like, I, I, I had such feelings for you, and you ended up betraying me, so obviously she's gonna be very protective of herself, right, she's not gonna get caught up on that shit, especially when I trust Jet, 
But uh, and, which is reasonable. And then uh, apparently Toph is very interesting. He's a lie detector. <laughs> like that's pretty cool. It's funny because when you lie, like your, your your heart beats and stuff. Not not your heart beats. It's just like the the breathing. Not breathing. What am I trying to say? Like those waves. This inner, oh god. Like yeah, it's something about your yeah, electromagnetic waves. Really? I thought it was different. Like your heart rate, your your breathing and stuff. I guess there's more more. You know, more, oh, your pulse, for your example. Pulse your stuff. pulse, like just so, but, but it's, it's, it's cool because Top could like sense that shit, right? So he's like yeah, some really the truth. Cool. And, and, and I like that because when they met up with the when the because Jet was like, oh, I'm alone. I I don't even have my crew. And then his crew shows up. So they're like, like what the hell? You told us you had no crew, but like. The crew's like, oh, you were taking my Dai Li. He's like, no, no, it wasn't. Remember the episode when those, the, the, the Tales episode, when those three girls were, were shitting on top? like, oh, you look like a clown with that makeup, you know? Uh huh. And then when Katara is like, yo, I know you look beautiful. She was able to sense that Katara wasn't saying that to make her feel better. Katara was actually telling the truth because she, she's a human lie detector. So when she said that and she smiled, she asked like, oh, shit, she's not trying to make me feel better. She actually thinks I'm beautiful. Oh, that's a good point. You know, oh, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. In retrospect, looking back, it's like that's why she had that like good smile. It's because she was able to tell the truth, like know that uh, that guitar is telling the truth. Uh, yeah, good point. You know, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, that's nice. It's because like again, the, it's hard if like man, you know what? Like having the ability to just know the truth and know when people, somebody's telling the truth every time, it's kind of like it's kind, it kind of sucks. Clutch they get, they, it's not clutch. It's, it sucks because it, well, it's clutch in, if you're investigating stuff. But it sucks because like you can be with close friends, your family, whatever, and you could tell when they're just lying to you straight up. And it's just like it's never nice when somebody lies to you and shit. You know, so like just having that like, ability to like tell the truth, just knowing this, this guy's like lying to me, it's like shit. You know, so Toph has to live with that. You know, so it's kind of like, uh. but at, at the same time, like um, you know, Toph like it, this this ability came in handy because. She she she's like, hey, this person's telling the truth. Jet's telling the truth. Mm. So something's not right, and then they, they piece the puzzle together. Fuck and then they guys. They're about to go to the South Pole. If, yeah, if Tom, if Tom didn't find that out, though, they they would be on so backward. Oh my god! I'm like I'm like no, do not go there. Like like you literally like because that's what the Daily the, the Daily he's like listen. His mission was to get the Avatar and everybody out of Boston City. Mm. We don't want you here at all. Yeah, you know, even even at the end, he's like, "Oh, you, you have an option. We we will we'll drop all charges if you just leave the, our our city, you know, in peace." But like, because he wants to, obviously, these guys are gonna ruin what they're trying to build, right? The Utopia. Utopia. Yeah. So like, but man, yo, so that was nice. Uh, we found out. So they found out. You know, Jets this Jets not right. You know, which which was which is nice, but uh, they fixed him a little bit. They, and then the guy's memory working again. We had the blue spirit Zuko appearance, and his last appearance too. But last appearance, you know, like he threw the mask away. I really enjoyed that that, that Zuko, that version of Zuko. Oh man, I, I I remember when I first found out. Like I never knew of Zuko when he worked with Aang. Yeah, and they worked so well together. I'm like, yo, this is so cool. But man, yo, so like he reached Lake uh, Lao guy. Uh, Katara and, and then every the whole gang reached there. Zuko got to um, Appa and then man, when Iroh also followed him and like Iroh, like, even Iroh fucking followed him, got there. He's like, okay, so you're the fucking blue spirit, you know. I, I think he always knew. No, he knows. He always knew. He always knew. He always knew. He knows Zuko. Yeah. And then, then then the way he was yelling at him, man, I like you know the whole speech about like you know find your own destiny, you know. You don't have to do what people tell you to do, you know. Like who are you? Like who are you? And this is the first time we've seen Iroh snap at. Uh, it wasn't snap; it was more scolding. But uh, he basically was telling him, "Is like, listen, like, yo, like, you enough is enough. Enough is enough. Like, who are you? Do you you find your own destiny? You de- you know you like you don't have to this destiny that's put on yourself by like yeah you create your own you create your own shit, man. This exactly. is not like and he started yelling at him. He's like, okay, this is a state. And he got angry this time. He's like. Last time you took you stole the avatar and you're about to freeze to death if his friends didn't come here. If his friends didn't save you. And now you're gonna take him, what are you gonna do with him? It's like the way he was yelling at him, he's like, well, why did you think what you're gonna do? Like what do you why do you put yourself in this situation? Exactly. Like well, like what's your destiny? It's like fuck all this shit, man. You don't have to do this, man. When Ira was preaching on this like God damn, damn, God damn, man, like, this is something I I find again man, Ira was like the perfect figure. To have, especially for someone like Zuko, you know, that's why I appreciate that so much. What did you do, my uncle? And 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 then, and, 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 and basically, and he 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 freed Appa, and like Iroh was like, it's the right thing to do. Appa made an appearance, but before that, man, 
this uh, long thing, a controlled jet to attack Aang, and Aang got him back. Mm. Like, all the memories about him, Katara, and like the, every like, his past and shit. And he got and he attacked Long Thing, and then fucking Earth bended him right in the head, man, and fucking killed him. Yo, it's uh, one thing. Yo, what, thing. so when when his crew came and he's like, yo, let's go to the care room, and they left. Uh-huh. You know, it's like that, like aiming his arrow somewhere. Yeah. Did you notice that? Yeah. He was, yeah. Only, he was aiming his arrow somewhere, and they're all like, and then just cut scene, next scene. Uh, yeah, I, I was kind of like, I'm like, at first what I thought was like, he's in, he's in a mercy kill jet. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh no. <laughs> I don't want to think of no. <laughs> like, I, like, I, like, my oh, first, shit. Like, my initial thought was like, when he got the arrow out with tears, I thought like, Jet was in so much pain, so he's in a mercy kill jet, so they don't torture him. Yeah, but he was, he was, he was facing like that. Yeah, no, no, he, he was, was facing the door though, so I, like, I don't know, because it's a kid's show, they're not going to show him point, like, just after that scene, he's like, <laughs> but, <laughs> this is Y7, it's Y7, they gotta do what they gotta do, but like, and I lo- and it, it was kind of a beautiful scene when like Toph is like, oh, he's lying. He's like, Katara, don't worry, I'll be fine. He smiles, and then they're walking away, and he's, Toph is like, he lied. And I, and I love the foreshadowing where, like, you know, she could tell and stuff, and, like, how beautifully they portrayed that at the end. She's like, yeah. oh, he lied. And, like, and the tears gave it away, like, uh... she gets dead, and, like, uh, Katara couldn't heal him. She's like, this is bad. It's like, I, I, you know what? I kind of feel bad because I was shitting on himself. The guy had a hard life, man. And, yeah. like, yeah, and you know, you basically got killed by this fuck tired long thing. But, um, I, I, and, then, and then, man, long thing got his ass kicked by Appa. I can take care of myself. Okay. Uh, <laughs> trying to fix him. And then he only bites his, his ugly ass feet. Oh, yeah. Throw him in the water. Like Appa a makes an appearance, yo. Man. He bounced twice. twice. He bounced twice. Like it's like when, when he flick a pebble in the lake. Like, that, that's exactly what long thing was. Your uh, you gangster Appa showed up, fucked up all these daily scrubs. The other guy's like, I will take care of you with his fucked up voice and shit. He's just, I, I was like, you know what, I'm not having that. He literally bit him and just threw him in the water and like, hopefully that's the end. And, 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 and spit out the shoe too. <laughs> He's like, yo, but you know what's, you know what's crazy? These what? past few episodes, was that Appa? And it just didn't feel right. You know, He's what, part of the crew. I know, like, and obviously, it, didn't feel, it, it just didn't feel right. No matter what was funny scene, a happy mm-hmm. scene. It just didn't feel right with the Yeah, Apple because head. they're a family, you know, and like we we we've, we've grown accustomed to watching them all together. I know. So like he's a missing, he's, he's like a he's, he's a like, big piece. He's yeah, a big he's, like the heart, he's like the heart and soul of the of the, of the crew. You know, you need Alpha, man. The guy has been carrying their traveling them everywhere. Like he does most of the work. The the guy is like so valuable, right? And he's and he's family, you know. So happy. So, I'm so around. happy to reunite. I'm so happy for Aang, man. Like the way he teared up. I'm so good. It's like good to see you back. Oh shit! I just realized something. What? That paper it wasn't on his horn. Oh yeah, we never got back to that paper stuff. So I'm God gonna, damn it. Or maybe it was, and we just didn't see it. You know. Well, maybe. So who knows? Uh, yeah, I, I'm curious. Like when now next episode they're gonna go back and what the guru Patek. Um, tell what, what is he trying to convey to Aang? I'm curious to see that. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm, we have three episodes left for season two, so um, uh, like so the Dai was just a different little arc, but like what's what's gonna happen? And, like, are we get are we gonna see the king of Boston say? I hope so, man. Like this puppet ass motherfucker, like you know, show yourself, you know, having parties for bears and shit, and the war, there's a war going on. You fucked hard. You show yourself, you know, and like fucking take shit seriously, you know. It's starting to piss me off, the, the King of Boston said. Well, ever since the, the Long Fan showed up, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, like, like, he's going. I don't think they're, like, I wonder they're, if the people cool. now, I wonder if the people now are going to be more of, like, like, the brainwashing effect's going to go, is like, guys, there's a war. So, like, start acting like there's a war, you know? Yeah. I wonder if we're going to see oh, an effect. Sure, yeah. I wonder if we're going to see an effect of, like, Boston say, like, all the people. I, 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 I'm really hoping Jody, Judy is, like, back to normal. Cause I kind of feel I feel, I, really, just about to say that. I feel really bad for Judy. All the Judys actually. I feel. I wonder. I wonder why they chose the name Judy. I was on vacation. I was on vacation, and then, I, like all the suppressed emotion and shit. Kind of like I don't know. It kind of reminds me of the movie Get Out, where like they did you watch that movie? Uh, okay. But yeah, basically, it was, uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Because the guys who watched it, but like remind me of that movie. But like man, I, hopefully all the Judys are good. Um, uh, and then I just want to see like how the dynamic of the busing says now. You know. So, man, again... I've been announced that Dali is, like, defeated. Mm-hmm. Like, something big is going to happen. 
And plus 16 hours. Well, well there's like three episodes left, so obviously something beats an hour. No, yeah, no shit, yeah. <laughs> but like, but, uh, yeah, exactly. We're close, we're very close. I mean, we're very close, and you know what? Again, I enjoyed this episode, and we have three more to go. Ah, oh, yes. Did you want to I go? love season finales. Oh my god, so stay tuned for the next segment. Alright guys, it's that time again, who's going to be your MVP of this episode? And who's going to be the flop of this episode? So MVP, uh, we got a bunch of candidates, this one's kind of like a team effort one, but like, uh, like individually, it might be a little hard, but we're going to try. We have obviously Appa coming in at the end and just fucking up the dial lead, fucking up this this scrub lawn thing. Okay. You know, um, we have Zuko Iro for freeing Appa. And I and also you know Iro like there's a personal thing for him like where he spoke some sense in the Zuko, but but then again like you know Ang could have got I could have got him out like up as well later, so you know that's that's one thing. Uh, Jet, he died. Um, he fought like he he was like the reason why they got the clues to Lake Lau guy, but at the end, not really. Like you know, maybe, uh, maybe I've mentioned he did fight well. At the end of the day, he did sacrifice. Like he did die at the end. Yeah. Like he, like he was a cool guy at the end. I re- much respect to Jet. And then there's Toph. Uh, Toph really held it down. She, yeah, she she's a lie detector, bro. She's a lie detector. She she's the one who found out like she could sense like the human physical traits and the uh, physical like internally the physical changes and get I guess when someone lies. When someone lies and like. She, it's because of her they found out like hey Jet's online her, his Jet's friends online stories don't make sense yeah. hence if they came to the conclusion that th- this dude was hypnotized and then the, and then the whole uh, then they found out hey Judy told us something about Lake Lau guy so like you know connect the dots and then and, and, and besides that Toph like besides adding that you know the attribute of like the whole life of figuring out thing right that yeah. led to the whole conclusion she 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 was doing some insane earth bending by the way like she was like fucking up these daily people just holding her own and like you know also like that's true she was I just uh, and then we have Aang as well like you know Aang uh, like he making posters and shit if you think about it uh, he, with Katara's help with too. Katara's help obviously and then you know Katara as well uh, but like I, I like when I think about it like, on an individual point I feel like Toph contributed the most. And I feel like I'm gonna, I'm leaning towards her for the MVP of today's episode because, uh, you know, again, you know, like without without her ability to like sense if this person's telling the truth or not, and that led to those conclusions. She held it down. And if that wasn't the case, then they would have flew all the way down to White Tail Island. Well, she would. They, they were heading to the south, which is like you holy know, shit. But like you know, because and then and then that like it's based off her analysis, like. They got to this point where like yo something's up and they, you know Sokka is like oh they're hypnotized and then everything made sense and then and, and she fought well too against the daily you know that that, that all this helps so uh, you guys might have a different MVP for this episode uh, it might be Appa who's just coming and fucking them up but then again you know those those guys are scrubbed I feel like anybody could have fucked them up <laughs> yeah seriously you know, so like, uh, they were like guys like I could take him on I could take him on my ass yeah, yeah. so um the MVP of today's episode will be Tahaf you made us believe. Put clothes on our backs. You sacrifice for us. You the real MVP. All right, guys, who's gonna be the flop? Everybody do the flop. Well, this is a lot easier than the MVP. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Daily leader Long, long fang. fang. More like Long uh, Fang. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, seriously, fuck that guy. Fuck him and his ways of doing things. It was never right in the first place. Um, he just uh, he got his ass kicked nicely by Alpha. Yeah, I love that. I, I love, love seeing fucked him. Fucked him up. Like he, he did not know how to handle the situation at all. He was so confident about like, oh, we should handle things quietly. We should do this. We should do that. Yeah. You know what? That that shit ain't gonna work. You know, you're you're dealing with this boy over here and his crew, and that shit just doesn't work that way. You know. Yeah. And, and you're a scumbag. You killed Jet. You piece of shit. Yeah, you were. You know, and um, and yeah. At the end of the day, you got you got pummeled. You like he's you like, got yo, I'm by, he's like, yo, I can take you on. Yeah, and then, on my own. And then Gangsta <laughs> Appa was having none of that shit. He's a fucking blue mouth, treating him like a little pebble and on a flicking to the lake. And you know what? So, so um, and. and Hopefully that's the last we see of this. I'm uh, not seeing his face, man. I'm sorry, but man, actually I'm not sorry. 
Yes, fuck you, Lompeg. <laughs> You're the flop of today's episode. All right, guys, that's it for today. Amazing episode 17. We have three more to go. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm super excited. You can get the next few up on Patreon. So, as always, guys, you can stay tuned for the next few. So, have fun with that. And before we go, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're out of here. My name is Alistair. Right there. Peace. Out.